across America with Mega Jackpots. It's Mega Millions. What's up, America? I'm John Crow. It is Friday, April 16th, and tonight's Mega Millions jackpot is an estimated annuitized $240 million. To win that jackpot, you must match these five white balls plus that gold mega ball. Now, let's see if I can make you a millionaire tonight. Our first winning number tonight is 55. That's followed by 27. Up next, we have 50. That's followed by 28. And your final white ball number for this Friday evening is 17. Now for the mega ball number, that is 25. Again, tonight's winning numbers are 55, 27, 50, 28, 17, and the gold mega ball is 25. Of no match law, six numbers. Tuesday's jackpot could be $257 million. Well, we noticed today was a little cooler than the days of earlier this week. We're going to still deal with some cool temperatures and maybe some showers for the weekend. We'll talk all about it with your forecast coming up. Right now on News Channel 6 at 11, the state of Augusta University will hear from the university president straight ahead. Also ahead tonight, a local state senator working to prevent breakups from getting too messy, how a new bill would discourage revenge porn. And Georgia schools seeing abnormally low enrollment numbers. These stories and more as your News at 11 starts now. Live from Television Park, this is WJBF News Channel 6 at 11. Hey everybody, I'm Wes Cooper. Thank you so much for joining us. Coverage you can count on begins tonight with Augusta University President Dr. Brooks Keel looking to the future. News Channel 6's Dearnisa Jefferson is here live with more. Thanks, Wes. 2020 was a very different year for Augusta University with COVID-19 bringing its challenges. But this year during the State of the University Address, Dr. Keel talked about a number of things and one of the big topics was enrollment. 2020 was a challenging year for Augusta University with many changes for students and faculty. With 2020 behind us, Augusta University President Dr. Brooks Keel now looking ahead. Uh, we want to look to a fall that's going to have a complete normal as best we can semester. During Friday's State of the University address, Dr. Keel covered a number of issues, including enrollment. We have such great capacity here uh, to expand enrollment and we're going to be focusing very heavily on enrollment. The university has seen an increase in enrollment and a record number of applications for the upcoming fall semester. And what that tells me is that students are beginning to realize that this is the place to come for their undergraduate education, regardless of what their degree interest is, regardless of where they want to go for a career or for graduate or professional education. Augusta University is where you need to be to get your education. Keel also looking forward to seeing more students on campus as AU prepares to return to face-to-face -face instruction in August. Get back to that classroom experience that our students uh, deserve and they all demand. The university is also set to receive millions of dollars in funding for the Medical College of Georgia. To be able to use that as well as some of the philanthropic support that they receive to really focus on this three plus program, which is designed to try to help incentivize medical students to ultimately practice in rural and underserved Georgia. Keel added that plans are in place to expand the health sciences campus with a parking deck and a research center. Now let's take a look at our weather forecast. Tim. And thank you. Yeah, it's really nice. Uh, frankly, tonight, we've been having just some really great temperatures, except that it was a little cooler today. 71 was our high. 77 is the average. We started out this morning at 49. It's about a degree above the average. We'll be getting near average as we get in the next couple days. 56, our current temperature, 56 in Aiken. In fact, as you can see, that's a popular number pretty much all over the place, except for a little cooler. Look at Millen at about 50 degrees. Winds are from the south at about 5 to 10 miles per hour, not helping with the temperatures at all because uh, it is a little on the cool side. Love that view. There's our Jiffy Loop Skyview Cam SRP Park looking towards downtown. We've had some high clouds throughout <clears throat> late afternoon, early evening, but now the clouds are starting to thicken up here a little bit. Still no rain. We have a lot of dry air overhead, and that's the way it's going to be. 53 for tonight. 30% chance of a shower late, and boy, that may be pushing it. Here's Futurecast, 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. Notice that we're covered in clouds, and time it gets about 9, 10 o'clock. One or two little showers could pop till about noon, and that's about it for the morning time. We'll talk about the rest of your Saturday into our Sunday, sort of up and down with your forecast in just a few minutes. Wes? Tim, thanks.